If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. Make sure you check out Poton Store. They have the new certain shield codes already available and they have automatic email delivery for these codes. You can get them in batches of 50 codes with a slight discount or individually for 89 cents each. They also have all these other promo codes. They have um, every other set you could imagine. And if you use Tailbone code, you get 5% off your final purchase. For the European players, Millibuds Gaming has everything from collectibles to all the latest cards from the latest sets, Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates, and everything from Sun and Moon. Don't forget to check it out and use Tailbone code when checking out in order to get 5% off your final purchase. Welcome back to another day of Road to TG Worlds 2020. Thanks so much for joining the stream. I'm really happy to be around. And um, thanks so much to everyone who's tuning in on this Tailmon at night. Um, Relabel, my field, is a very underexplored deck. It hasn't featured at any of the tournaments. It wasn't played at all in Malmo. Um, I think there was a single Masters player playing Relabel in Brazil. Um, and yes, it's not best deck in the format material, but I still think it's pretty powerful. Um, I remember being impressed by it when it first, um, when Sword and Shield first came out and I played with the deck. I was also impressed by how well it did against ADP Station in the Brave Birds versus Limitless show match. So Voltage Beast getting energy into play through an ability will always be good, have a wide variety of attackers. Um, only one Mew 3 because um, there's a lot of Psychic around, there's some Fire, but I feel like there's more Psychic, I don't know. Um, like there's more Station ADP, so Mewtwo gives you versatility, but uh, using the other attackers also feels pretty good. Um, we have Shaman Prism Star, we have Delmite V for extra damage with Giga Hammer and a 2 Prizer. So we are gonna try and set up, we have our Coach Trainers as our main engine, which uh, not ideal, but we have um, a lot of Pokemon Search. We also have Marnies and the Tackle Engine. So we'll see how we do. Yeah, we shall see how we end up doing with this and make any adjustments that we find necessary. All right. Yes, Lock bulldozes this deck for sure. So does Firebox, so does Baby Blacephalon. Um, playing Rillaboom indeed. Like, I'm not saying this is, um, I'm not saying this is, um, <clears throat> this is the next best deck in the format and you should be playing this at your next, um, League Cup or League Challenge, because obviously there's no regionals right now, um, but, 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 it's a pretty, it's a pretty fun deck to play, yeah, and why not explore more options? Look at this hand, this hand is pretty nice. This hand is already looking pretty nice to start off with. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Is there any way to get card out of cards out of your prices right now? Um I'm not actually sure. I don't I think the answer is no. Okay, real boom, we do have access to it. We price two customs, oh no, just one custom. Um, we do see an Absol, but that's not the biggest of deals. So I think I'm gonna hold this for now. I don't think I need to do anything else because I don't know what I'm up against, probably Pikram, but I really don't know. So holding on to this and this in order to determine what is best, see it's not Pikram, um, it's the best idea. Because that way we can adapt and change depending on what, what happens, you know? Um, Schubert, they did cancel Toronto. They canceled it earlier today. Toronto is canceled. They should have done it sooner, yes, but at least they did it, you know? Okay, so we get more need out of that hand. <clears throat> Into another decent one. <laughs> there you go, Sham. Thank you so much for being here. 
Thank you so much for tuning in at this hour. Why wouldn't you use Fionn here? Like, that felt like the time to use Fionn <laughs> um, for my opponents, honestly. Um, okay, I'm gonna bench the Grookey in anticipation of Fionn. I'm gonna go ahead and attach, and I'm gonna go ahead and super grow. <clears throat> for the Thwacky, I really remember, I don't know if um, some of you watched the first video, but the first time somebody said, I'm gonna go search for Thwacky, I genuinely thought they were like, that was their pet nickname for the Pokemon. I didn't realize that Thwacky was actually called Thwacky. <laughs> I generally didn't realize that. All right. Yeah, did they take too long to cancel it? Sure. Um, but things are changing very quickly and very... Um, things are changing very, very quickly and very... Um, very rapidly, right? So, I don't know. I don't know. Alright. At least they were fast in cancelling, yeah. Alright. So now I regret not having search for the Absol, but it's okay. Score bunny, best starter, <laughs> Jay's fan. I like I they've grown on to me, right? But when I first saw them, I really liked Sobble. Then I saw all the evolutions and I really hated them. So I have a level 100 Sobble in my Pokemon Sword game. Because I didn't feel like um like playing with the with the other one. Uh with the other ones and I didn't like I don't like Infilion very much. It's grown on me a little, but I I still don't really like it, so I have a level 100 Sobble. Um, I picked Sobble. Yeah, I picked Sobble. Alright. <clears throat> the point taking his time with his decisions always important, right? But it's also important not to overdo it. Mookie probably has the best evolution line. Um, I don't know. I like Scorp. I've been liking Scorp anymore. I hatched a shiny one in Sword. And also, I... I have a shiny score bunny in gold and I <clears throat> in not in gold in sword sorry Shaggy on sing so much for the follow and I'm a very big soccer fan so Cinderace has this special place in my heart <laughs> all right so we're in a fantastic spot here honestly We are in a fantastic, fantastic spot here. Wait, what? <coughs> okay. Um, the balloon plus the energy gives us the retreat, which I am very happy about. And then we'll go ahead and voltage beats onto this person. I don't, however, have an energy to GX attack next turn, which might be key. Might, might, might be key. Um, I'm gonna, um, hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and quick ball the Mew3 for Absol. Just to mess with my opponent and then we'll take a knockout. We have our prize and our top deck to find an energy or a net ball in order to pull off the GX attack next turn and remove any energy that my opponent is attaching. And immediately promotes the Absol without realizing that I have my own Absol, I imagine. So a small mistake right there, right off the bat. You quit VGC. Yeah, I haven't played in a while in the actual game. I do play a lot of Showdown because I do coaching for um, some people as well. Yeah, see, like that's just a waste, you know? <laughs> that's just a big waste. That's just a big waste and a big misplay. That allows me to go double bolted beat over the course of two turns. And sure, you're gonna attack me next turn, but then I just GX away your energy in case you power up station or anything. And then what do you do, right? And then what do you do? 
Do you think Station ADP versus Peak is a bad matchup for Station ADP? Not at all, Greninja TCG. Not at all. Nice top deck. <laughs> nice top deck. You gave up on shiny hunting. I mean, it's definitely worth it to have um, to have the to have the shiny charm if you're planning on shiny hunting. But um, but I can see the discouragement. I feel like I've I've hatched quite a few shinies actually on sword so far. Scar Bunny, two Snorlaxes, a Bisharp. Uh, Rookie D um, without trying, you know? So I feel like I just breed to get the Pokemon, competitive Pokemon, and if I hatch a shiny, awesome, but I don't actually chase them. And so there are nicer prizes rather than frustrating uh, chain of events where you just don't get them over and over. All right, <laughs> decides to metal patch on the Jirachi. Really looking for that energy, and if my opponent doesn't attach energy here, that's gonna be game. That's gonna be game. Yeah, that's that's what I do. And then all of a sudden, like I have this shiny score bunny, which is pretty cool and can be competitive. Shiny Bisharp sharp as well, shiny curse lax um, with the right ability, shiny hidden ability rookie as well. So yeah, I like I really like shiny Pokemon. Um, maybe someday, if, if they make Nidoqueen and Torchic available with the expansion sets, then I will probably purposely hatch for them to make them shiny, but overall, um, overall it's not, it's not something I need, you know, I just, if I'm gonna play VC, I just wanna win, whether with my Pokemon is shiny or not. You hope they slap with Jirachi. <laughs> I mean... It's one thing, my opponent's really overextending. He he needed to find the energy, now he's switched, now he needs another switching card. Um, and it all comes down to promoting that Absol in the automatic pilot that my opponent did, and then he had to use the energy to retreat, and then it's just, it's all... <laughs> it's all really just falling apart for him. Really, really just falling apart. <clears throat> and besides, he already attached, he's down. One Metal Saucer, I could just GX next turn and then he doesn't get any energy on board, right? Which would be <laughs> pretty brutal. Um, decides to do Fion, that's annoying. That is certainly annoying. Does he also have the switch? He does, okay. Alright, so we're definitely GXing here. We are most certainly GXing. I mean, I guess I don't need to. Maybe I just attack and then I GX? Because if I if I hit a custom catcher off of my prizes or off of my top decks, then maybe I could just win by GXing that. Well, or a grass, right? Or a switch plus grass. Yeah, maybe I should play towards that, actually. David, thank you so much for subscribing. That's probably on YouTube, but still, thank you very much for subscribing. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. I think we played to switch plus grass onto Venusaur's Mighty. I'm gonna go ahead and just voltage beat once. Well, I guess this guy could get KO'd next turn with Shrine plus, hmm. Yeah, maybe I should just GX this turn. Makes, makes it so unlikely that my opponent can beat me next turn. Yeah, I'll just do that. Because if I don't GX and then all of a sudden my opponent goes Shrine, Metal Saucer, KO, big oof, right? Big, big oof right there. Get the Reload Boom, not the big deal. We got an Energy, that's nice. Um, so if I had kept my GX attack, I could have gone um, <clears throat> retreat, manually retreat Malolana into Venusaur Snivy, or just ma just Malolana into Venusaur Snivy, Balloon attach, bring up the Dedene and KO. This is still fine though. Like my play might just be 
I might just take a knockout with Shaman next turn. My opponent is down all four custom catchers, so my play. Oh, wait. Oh, jeez. Dolls find the metal patches. Oh, we might just still lose here. I can't do 220, right? I need to do even more. I need to do with minus 30, that's insane. I need to do 280. That's 14 energy in play for Shaman. There's no way. <laughs> there is no way. Well, I mean, they did have energy in the discard pile and they did have metal saucers left. Um, they also have two switches left, probably. So I could just lose here. I could just lose. There's a switch. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, now my Absol is gone, so that's actually fine. I should have let the groupie go down. I might lose here. How'd you get 280? Oh, right. It's 260 minus 30. Yeah, it's 260, sorry. So 13 energy, which I don't even play. Thank you so much for the follow, or nail. I thought I was thinking of um, Big Charm. <laughs> So big charm plus 30 and then minus 30. Uh, but no, yeah, it's 260, not 280. That's my bad. Those find the energy, will get an attack off. Is he down the great catcher too? Not quite. Oof. Yeah, I'm 10 damage short. I'm one energy short, 10 damage short. Oh no, oh wait. Can I? Can I KO the... Yeah, I can KO the Dene with Shame and Prism Star, right? If I survive this, which I imagine I will, unless my opponent is really slow rolling me, I should be able to win with Shaman KOing this. There's no way I heal all 260 damage, right? There's 60, 180, 210, so I still have 50 left on me. Come on, dude, do something. You can either attack or not attack. I guess he was debating the Fion. There we go. 10 damage off and I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, we have the win. There we go. Perfect, perfect numbers. Perfect, perfect numbers. All right. That was very close though that was very close i would like to bring up the detainer in gx please so that turn one ko on jirachi was pretty big oh no the absol oh no <laughs> the absol oh no i forgot about the absol oh my god i forgot about the absol Oh boy. Ah, oh, <laughs> finds a great catcher. Oh, I forgot about the Absol. I mean, that was still my play, I feel. Me not having Absol and him having Absol. Ah, oh. <laughs> I don't think I could have done anything differently, though. Like, what could I have done differently there? If I had manually retreated, it would have cost me four energies. I would have had two left. So I wouldn't have had enough. I could have killed Seishen? How? There's no way I could have killed Seishen. Oh wait, is, it, is Shaman? Oh. <laughs> I thought Shaman was... 20 damage. Oh my god. I thought Shaman. Oh my god. <laughs> How embarrassing. I really thought Shaman was 20 times. What the heck, Pablo? This is what happens with late night Pablo. I had Kaon Station, yes. I had Kaon Station. I just needed to power up the Shaman attached to it, Malolana, and win. I I, comp I I was thinking 20 times. I didn't think Shaman was that broken. What a big oops. Late night Pablo best Pablo. That was a big oops, yeah. Now we know. 
Now we know. Now you can tell how many times I've played with Shaman Prison Star. Or this deck. <coughs> yeah, it's the same as Rage X. Like, I promise you I knew that in the back of my mind. I just completely forgot about it. <laughs> For right now, but I promise you, I promise you, I did, I did know that. Um, do I want the Malolana to save the energy? Nah. I have Marty, so I think it's better to just grab these two. Let's go bench, let's go bench, let's go attach and retreat. <clears throat> let's go this. Uh, 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 Thwaki and Rila Bloom are there indeed. So, might as well just set up another Grookey, nah. Let's go for Shaman. Shaman is so broken that why wouldn't we want Shaman here <laughs> from the get-go? Oh my god, that was dumb. That was dumb, that was dumb. Broken cards are their finest, yes, but that's why you can only play one in your deck, right? That is why you can only play one. Okay. Alright. Peaking red card. Interesting. Let me keep the hand too. Alright. That's okay. I can't play anything from my hand, but I don't need to because I can just attack. Set up my Rillaboom for next turn, then I'm getting hit for 100 damage, not the biggest of deals, right? Definitely not the biggest of deals. Touch. My button knows I have 3 energies and 1 Marnie. Doesn't know what I top deck, but it's either 50 or 100. Goes for a retail stamp, there's no way I draw 6. Trainers, um, 150, that seems like a reasonable amount for sure. Very reasonable amount for sure. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and voltage beats. <clears throat> Is my opponent just playing a pure dedicated Gengar Mimikyu deck maybe? I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna play this. And grab this guy, now grab energy. And then I will play this here, and then I go Calming Hurricane. So, I need three in my hand in order to be KO'd. I only have two, so I'm okay with this, right? I'm okay with this. Um, I, we might just get Reset Sound again, we might get Peaking Red Carded again. All of those are certainly possibilities. Mala Prison Star, I feel like that has to be Malamar. There's no way that's just pure. Oh, maybe, maybe I take it back, maybe it is. And just enough for my opponent, just enough. <coughs> Super annoying, but not the end of the world. Just means he gets ahead in the price trade off. Well, you know what, it is annoying, because now, if I activate Beast Ring, if that's my opponent's plan when I activate Beast Ring, I can't attack with this guy. Um, so I'm just going to have to go Trainer for 2. I'm going to go ahead and Voltage Beats on the active, because now I know how broken Shaman actually is, right? Now I know how broken Shaman actually is. I should have followed this guy. Um, okay, I'm taking three prizes here. What does my cheeks attack to? 50 everywhere. And... Bop. Alright. I think I need to play down things. I don't expect another... Uh, another one of those to happen. And even if it does, there's four, so not enough. Everybody needs that. Uh, B-strings and customs are a great catcher to KO me and win this turn, which could happen, honestly. Could very certainly happen. Huh. 
Alright. Buenas noches, Kevin. He could play surprise box, that's true. There's the peace rings, as expected. Just for a single medal, though. That's very odd. That is very, very odd. Okay, so now we GX and probably win. Right? I feel like now we GX this guy for 200. With my last two energies, yikes. With my last, last two energies. So Malana might be important here. And I don't need to use... Well, custom means I just win next turn. So let's go ahead and play as if we were trying to win. Let's not make silly mistakes. I'm not going to bench this because this is worth two prizes and has less HP just in case I'm missing something. I will go ahead and play this, discarding one aggro. And then we go Tropical Hour GX for 200, the KO, and then double custom wins us the game. We might get reset stamped, but that's okay. Is Energy Recycler better than the Energy Recycle system? I think so, Wishmaster, purely because you can get an energy into hand. Sometimes that's all you need to win. Um, to ghost or something, so I do feel like it's like it's great. All right, Belelba. Don't care about that. That me illegal. And my opponent played down on turn one. Is gonna be my opponent's demise here. GG. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. And we could have been undefeated with this if I hadn't made my silly. <laughs> if I hadn't made my silly last turn. But oh well, it's fine. It is fine. Rillaboom has potential. I do think that it has potential. I'm not super happy with this list. I feel like it's a little unfocused. Like with all the, like the variety of attackers. Um, so I would probably try and just streamline it, make it more grass based, play a bunch more energies, like 14 grass makes sense to me. Um, I don't know, we'll see. And how much longer am I streaming? I think that's gonna be all for today. I think, yeah, that will be all for today. Um, with this new coronavirus situation, I had already decided not to go to Toronto or... Um, <clears throat> Toronto or... Guatemala, of course, but it seems like I'm gonna have a lot of a lot more time to create content and that should equate to more streams and um, I should be starting doing Pokemon Go content as well sometime soon, probably in Spanish though, but sometime soon. And um, I don't have a spicy ADPZ list uh, sloping Greg. I feel like Torch deck is really good and that's the one that you should be playing. And maybe cut an Acrobike for a mobile GX if you expect Obstagoon. So yeah, thank you so much for joining me today. Late night Tablemon might be a more common occurrence. And I will catch you in our next stream. Bye-bye.